What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. We have a bit of a weird one here today. I don't know if you guys were around a little while ago, but we did a video similar that had these similar small accessories right here, and I think anybody who collects action figures can get a lot of usage out of the stuff right here. Figure photography, pick fetting, displays, it adds a lot of creativity and a lot of realism to your setups. I've used multiples of this stuff in the pick fed. I've used a lot of this stuff in my displays and my setups, and it is it's fantastic stuff. Anyway, I'm talking about superactionstuff.com. You can pick up these. Now, this is a new casket of cruelty we're going to go through. I have no idea what the blue hell is inside here, but I know a while back we did a video. I, I know you guys remember the Unlucky Charms. Remember Matt Riddle was holding it, and, you know, I showed off all these mini accessories. You got a little cell phone, pizza. I mean, you got a banana. The ice cream cone's missing. My son's obsessed with them, so maybe even if you have kids or something like that and you want to get some for their Christmas presents or, or whatever, or maybe you have a little figure collector out there in your life and you want to spruce up their stocking, like a little stocking stuffer item or something like that, these are great. I think they'll have a ton of enjoyment. My son is obsessed with the little pieces. I, I mean, I'm obsessed with them too, but every time he comes in the office, he always wants to play with these and use them with his figures and toys and stuff, and it's just a blast. However, we have a little table set up right here. I want to move Matt Riddle back a little bit because today, I've showed off these accessories. I don't know. I want to say it was a My Name Halls episode or something like that where we went through those. You guys can see the bottles fell off, but Today, we have the Casket of Cruelty Action Figure Accessories, compatible with 6 to 7 inch scale, 1 12th to 1 10th scale, 26 plus gruesome accessories, 11 diabolical weapons, including boxing gloves, machete, chainsaw, riot shield, and more, 15 blood and gore effects, see superactionstuff.com for product images, may need sticky adhesive for best results, that's for figures to hold the stuff without, you know, falling out sometimes, but I'm going to cut this son of a bitch open, and we're going to see what the hell's inside, I have have not, I have not looked up superactionstuff.com. I don't know what's in here. We're going to find out together. I'm just going to go through this casket, which does feel... I think this casket is operational as well, so you get like a, a massive coffin accessory to go with it. Nonetheless, I'm going to give it a little slice right here. Do not cut yourself, for the love of God. We're going to rip this open right here. Yeah, dude, this casket's absolutely operational, and it's very, it's got good size to it. Maybe I can, like, so you pull that. Dude, look at that. Holy crap. So you get a full-fledged, like, plastic. Oh, my God. It's even got little stuffing in here. Look at this. Look at this right here. It's like packing paper. Dude, this is amazing. Anyway, gonna remove this, and they're all packed in here, it seems. What in the blue hell? I guess I'm gonna get rid of the packing stuff. Little blood, blood effect got stuck in there, but okay, so look at that. All the goodies are in here. What in the hell am I looking at? Should I, like, dump it all out? Probably. I guess I'm just gonna dump all this out. Yeah, this is completely, like, I'm, I'm more impressed with the damn coffin, if anything. Here's just a random hurricane figure, and it fits in there. You could absolutely use this as a buried alive match. Look at that right there. Look at that. And he just sits there, and he's in there now. Nonetheless, our first accessory appears to be a chainsaw. Now, is there, like, a holder to this? Okay, this has to be for the chainsaw. No? Like, this isn't it. Okay, here it is. I was about to say, there's no way that, that made no sense. Look at that right there. You clasp that together, and oh my god, now I have a new chainsaw. I'm sick of using the leather face one. Now I got a new one. You guys can see the blade on there. It's got the blood. Very cool, man. Good stuff right here. So you got a little chainsaw accessory. It's got the handles on there, a couple different handles. We have the riot shield that they were talking about. So it's got like bulletproof glass right here for people to hold. Very sturdy plastic right there. You could use that for something. Golly, it's very shiny. What else we got in here? What in the hell? Is this a staple gun? What the freak is this? So we have a nail gun, which would be insane to use in like a death match or something, man. You just push, 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 and have nails sticking out of somebody's skull. That's a very unique accessory. I don't think I've ever seen an action figure size nail gun before, so that's pretty damn wild right there, man. Superactionstuff.com. Go grab it. We also have some blood effects. Now, I'm not the biggest guy for blood effects, but if you guys are into that or you want to spruce up your displays the blood effects are here you know you can use that for like different stuff what in the hell is that is that supposed to be like guts or like what what in the i don't i i'm i'm just gonna put that over there i guess it's supposed to be like somebody's head getting blown off i don't know nonetheless you got that you got like a little little mini splash got some more little splashes some more splashes yeah i'm just i'm not a big blood effects fan but if you guys are blood effects fans you definitely need to get your oh my god in heaven what? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! What is that? Is that a piece of brain matter? Oh my god in heaven. Oh my goodness! 
we can do the Rey Mysterio thing. Bro, it is an eye that got pulled out. Holy shish. So you can replicate the eye for an eye match with Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio. Oh my god. That is the most insane thing I've ever seen. An eyeball coming out for an action figure. Unbelievable. And look at that. We even have the other eye and then some other stuff. Okay, I think I've seen it all now. I've seen it all. We have a brain. That is unbelievable. Did not expect this in, in the whole deal there. Does it have a bite taken out of it? What in the hell is that okay all right so i'm guessing this is a part of that brain and look this arrow has a little blood effect attached to it and you have the full arrow here so i guess you can have like your loose arrow and then you can have your arrow that's like broke off in somebody like it's went through their back that's pretty damn cool i like that a lot not only that but we also have it looks to be it looks like we have ourselves a crossbow right here and i don't know how the hell i'm supposed to like make this fit do you just run this through the middle right here? So there you go. Now I have a crossbow accessory. Now where's the line though? Like is there a... I guess you're just supposed to hold it and then, you know, you have like... I guess guys are supposed to hold it and then, you know, you... Like there's no string here but you just hold it and it's supposed to look like that. So I like the crossbow. I love the bow and arrows, though. Or not the bow and arrows, but the little broken arrow and the, the just lone arrow is pretty cool. Looks like we have a croquet mallet that's got some blood on it. Very unique accessory. Never seen one of these before. We have a golden axe that's massive. It's almost like a Viking's axe. We have a, like a whoosh accessory. So I guess you could, like, plug this in to the blade. And then it's like it's whooshing by. But I think we also have other things this could fit. Like, we have this massive sword, similar to the Drew McIntyre sword. And I guess what you can do is you can like plug this in right here get freaking link out here and like swing it around that's pretty dope i like that that's pretty cool so you have this little whoosh effect and then you have the nice solid katana sword we also have a night stick we've seen a lot of these with wwe figures before we have red boxing gloves now this is something that i can test i guess before we test those let's look at this right here okay so you even have a table saw the table saw has to go to something but other than that we do have like a bloody machete right here so you have the bloody machete We've seen a lot of those with NECA, but this table saw has to go to something, right? I mean, like, does it plug into this base piece so you can either put the chainsaw in here or you can put the table saw? But I don't want to break this because if I break it, I'm going to break my own foot off in my own ass. So like that, and then what? You plug it in like so. Yeah, so now we have a table saw. Oh, that's pretty dope. So you get two different options. You have a little buzz table saw, and then you have a chainsaw. So I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, last but not least, we have Hulk Hogan here. I'm going to take his hands off and see if these just fit a Mattel figure. So you can just plop this onto the wrist right here. Let's zoom in on this so you guys can see. So you pop the hand off, drop the boxing glove on the effing ground, and then take this and pour it in there. Dude, that is freaking amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, how cool is that, dude? That's amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to put the other boxing glove on here. I mean, look at this guy, dude. Look how amazing that looks. What you're gonna do, brother, when Hulk Hogan beats the hell out of you? I just love the little boxing noises. It's like, pof, pof, pof. Just poof, poof. That's fucking immaculate. I lo uh, dude, how freaking sick. Like, it doesn't have a hinge in it, but who cares? He can box the shish out of you. So not only do you have the Hulk Hogan with the boxing gloves, or whoever the hell you want in the boxing gloves, you have the table full of accessories. Now, that you can get these also. Not only this crypt full of ish over here, but you get the nail gun, the chainsaw, all these blood effects, even this loose eyeball, for Christ's sake. And then you get the cool nail gun. I mean, I'm sold. I'm sold completely on it, but a huge shout-out to SuperActionStuff.com. Guys, go over there. I'll put a link in the description below go over there and check them out i think it's worth it you know I, also they come with this little cell phone accessory that they sell over there which is great for pick fitting and stuff for people on the phone and backstage talks and office and stuff like that just a lot of great stuff here man but i had a ton of fun playing around with this anyways thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on the super action stuff down below you know i think that any wwe figure or action figure collector could get a ton of usage out of this stuff but i'm getting the hell out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one, and I'll see you guys next time.